Now we are going to start with the detailed study of the planet on which we live, that is the Earth, also called as Prithvi. So as you can see this, that how our Earth looks like. So it is the actually the third planet in uh, sequence to the Sun. So what we have seen, you know, actually you know much about the Earth because you all love and experience the things which are present on the Earth. But still to know more, I am just going to uh, explain it in a short, a short manner. The fun thing is that it has a large quantity of water. It has means the water content on the earth is, is um, or you can say water is abundantly available here and moreover it has a thick layer of atmosphere also you know that and it contains gases O2, N2, CO2 and many rare gases are also present. So due to presence of these two things it makes life uh, like existence of life possible on the earth that is why it can support our life that mean because it has an atmosphere as well as it has a water which is uh, you can say a, uh, which is uh, you can say a, uh, the clear condition for the survival of the life next uh, is that as you all know that earth rotates so uh, it rotates about an imaginary axis it rotates about an imaginary axis and moreover it revolve around the sun also so it is rotating about its own imaginary axis also and it is revolving around the sun in a definite uh, orbit also and as you know that uh, like we experience day and night like if we talk about a complete one day it has one day and one night so you know that how the day and night changes the day and night changes or you can say uh, a day changes to night or night changes to day it occurred due to the rotation of the earth it occurs due to the rotation of the earth and you know that earth take 365.25 days to complete one revolution around the sun so as you know that see it is rotating about its axis also about its own axis also it is revolving around the sun also its rotation about its own axis uh, like uh, changes the day and the night and it takes about 365.25 days to complete one revolution and moreover it has one heavenly body revolving around it that is the moon you all know that it has one satellite that is the moon and moreover you experience the change in seasons also like you have so many seasons you have autumn you have spring you have summer you have winter you know that why there is a change in the season the change is this in the season is that as you all know that earth has a northern hemisphere also it has a southern hemisphere also so whenever the earth rotates on its axis it gets little tilted so when uh, like uh, the hemisphere which get tilted towards the sun experiences the summer and the hemisphere which is uh, not tilted or which is away from the uh, away from the sun experiences winter suppose the earth is rotating about its axis and the northern hemisphere gets little bit like as i told you when the earth is rotating it gets tilted uh, towards the uh, towards the sun so suppose let's say that uh, the northern hemisphere gets tilted towards the sun so when the northern hemisphere will get tilted towards the sun it will experience summer so that means in that at that time the northern hemisphere will experience a summer season and because uh, the southern hemisphere is not getting tilted towards the sun so at the same time it will experience the experiences the winter season now if the southern hemisphere get tilted towards the sun it will experience the summer season and uh, at the same time northern hemisphere will experience the winter season so it all depends that which hemisphere is getting tilted towards uh, towards the sun the one which get tilted will experience in summer and the other at the same time will experience winter because it won't be tilted so this is why the change in season take place right and moreover like this i have just uh, made uh, a few points for you so that you can note so it change in the season take place due to tilting of its axis and change in position with respect to sun so for like as i told you when northern hemisphere get tilted it experiences summer and at the same time uh, the southern hemisphere will experience winter and vice versa also like uh, you know that uh, suppose uh, like if we talk about uh, the days and all so what we have seen that on june 21 
on june 21 earth is away from the sun that means earth is at maximum distance from the sun and which part of the earth obviously the northern hemisphere so on june 21 the northern hemisphere is very far from the sun that is why uh, june 21 is the longest day on the northern hemisphere it experiences a longest day on the northern hemisphere and on december 22 what we have seen that northern hemisphere is closest to the sun as much close as it can be so it is closest to the sun so therefore the northern hemisphere experiences the shortest day on december 22 and at the same time when northern hemisphere is experiencing a longest day because it is away from the sun so at the same time southern uh, southern hemisphere is experiencing the smallest day and like on december 22 i am telling you that northern hemisphere is closest to the sun and it is the shortest day for the northern hemisphere so at the same time the southern hemisphere is experiences experiences the longest day so that means vice versa things are happening on the northern and the southern hemispheres and on september 23 and March 21, the duration of the days are same on both the this thing on both the axes because they are not tilted uh, in they are in between the orbit actually. So this is what about an Earth Earth that is a planet that is called as Prithvi. So I think you got it. You should know that it has a water and atmosphere which make life possible. Moreover, it is rotating about its axis. When it is rotating, its northern and southern hemisphere are getting tilted, and there is a change in position with respect to sun also and uh, due to rotation it, ex, uh, it uh, is actually uh, there is a change in season also and duration of the day also as we as we came to know that uh, in on june 21 uh, the northern hemisphere is away away or you can say farthest from the sun therefore it is the longest day on northern hemisphere at the same time southern hemisphere experiences the shortest day and the same thing is happening on the december 22 but the northern hemisphere is closest so it will experience a short day and at the same time the southern hemisphere will experience the longest day because it will be far at that time because north and the south obviously the northern and the southern hemisphere are two poles so if the one is going to be close the other is going to be far and moreover we have uh, noticed about the change in season also just uh, due to the tilting of the earth uh, or the change in the position with respect to sun so you should know about our, your your own planet that is the earth and you know that these are not a suf not sufficient point or not sufficient characteristics of our planet earth because as we all live we know that the earth has many more things to know about but at your level you should know just about the, uh, these things which i have uh, summed up for you otherwise earth has many 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 features uh, so that is why which make life possible on the earth so this is all about our planet that is the earth that is the prithvi